my name is Chantal and I'm from South Africa. Hi, I'm Jessica Match and I'm from South Africa. Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm from South Africa. <laughs> we are going to talk about the differences between South Africa and America. First of all, we want to start with the traffic light. We don't call it the traffic light, we call it a robot. And in America, they think it's the little <laughs> <laughs> machine the robot. Main, <laughs> machine <laughs> made. And the second difference would be we call um, grands, we have grandstands and they call them beaches, which is quite different. And then we say, um, we say cool drink and then American people say soda. And when, so one time that I wanted to offer my host family, I wanted to offer them a piece of gum and I said, here's a chappy. She's like, what's a chappy? So we call gum, we call it chappy in South Africa. And I suppose we call chips chips and they call them French fries, which is pretty different. Don't go into McDonald's and ask for chips, they won't have it on the menu. <laughs> and this one time my host mom told me to take the skillet out and fry for the end. I think it was chicken. So I said, oh, I should get the frying pan out. And she was like, no, the skillet. So we say frying pan and then American people say skillet. And also another thing is that we don't call it gas, we call it petrol in our cars. And if you say petrol, they don't know what to do. Yeah. About. <laughs> and, um, and another thing, um, yeah, we, they call it a trunk and we call it a boot of a car. Yeah, not like a boot actual wear, but a boot. And then the, you guys in America, they have lakes and we have we call it a dam. Oh, that, 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 like a big, a big thing of water. It's like you guys call the lakes, and we call it a dam. And also, um, Americans either call it trash or what do they call it? Um, trash garbage, or garbage. garbage can. We call it a rubbish bin. Or a rubbish bin or a trash can. Trash can, yeah. Depending on. Um, I find Americans actually quite interesting. They. They're quite different, different to yeah. us, yeah. I don't know if it's, some of them are friendly, some of them are arrogant, some but are it depends who you are, it depends who you clash with and who you socialize with. Mm -hmm. and, and I suppose in Jersey, sure, it's all about fashion. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all Jersey yeah. issues. And what's also very different here is that it's very safe here. So we have like fences and everything around the houses, what they don't have. Yeah. Which I think is nice that it's all open yeah. and this is really you feel safe in yeah. here. So that's what, oh, that's what I'm going to say about that. So. <laughs> the families are more, um, what do you call, like, kind of stuff? Uh, relaxed, chill. Yeah, they, they're, they're, very, they're yeah. more relaxed and they. And I find that depending on your family, but they all seem very welcoming and open yeah. arms. Some families have schedules. So everybody's on the go. They're always doing something. Where in South Africa, I think you get a job from eight to half past four, and then it's four five, and then you're home. But like some parents only arrive home at like half past seven at night because yeah. they're working. Mm -hmm. Suburbs or cities. Yeah. It's the, the American children they don't get um, they don't get what do you call what do you call that? They don't get what? They don't get spankies. Oh uh, um, <laughs> spanks. You know, you spanks. Don't, yeah, yeah. We call it spanks, we call it yeah. snacks, that's also a different. Yeah, they, or they they're hiding. Are hiding. They're hiding. Yeah. And but yeah, but I suppose yeah. sometimes I do Agree that sometimes you can talk it out to a child, but sometimes I do think that some kids do need a little spank on the bum or the bottom. But you know what? Every family is different and they handle it. And sometimes it works, depends on your child. What, what do you think about this? Um, like, I, what, what I noticed from the time that I was here is that American people are very particular with their kids touching glass stuff. Um, with my whole family, um, the kids are not allowed to touch anything that's glass, like glass tumblers, and 
like plates and you know like some objects so in South Africa it would be like okay if uh, you know five year old or six year old you know got a glass a plate glass plate so it's different and I think also the education is different like American kids are more advanced than South African kids the amount of work that they're doing and the activities that they're doing it's just on a whole different level. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 It's like what they're learning in mathematics or science. Yeah. They know way more than an average five-year-old would know. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. Great but I think it. they work harder at school. Yeah, they, yeah, I they think because yeah. they're there from eight to four yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, we, we usually start school from um, 25 past seven to one or two. One or two, yeah. But then that means that you go to do sport after school or you don't have to, it's not compulsory, but it's your option to so you can do it after school. Manners. Definitely. They they don't have manners. They um I think it's they, they, they find it hard to adjust to eat close mouth and say thank you when you get something or when you want something or ask please or thank you. Yeah. They, and I they think struggle. it goes a long way when you say please makes your job a whole lot easier when a kid appreciates what you do. And I think also what this au pair could bring is maybe a different culture in a way, just to see how the world is different and that there's so many different people in this world and somehow we all fit together. So yeah, and just being polite. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think what I would like to do is just grow as a person and find myself and just see how to have that experience later in life and say, well, I lived with an American family. And, you know, be asked, oh, how was it? And how was your experience? Just to have, you know, to have your whole life and know that you've actually experienced and had the opportunity to do something like this. So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, for me, I think it'll be um, more like, you know, learning different manners and learning the way American people talk and you know, saying different things. So I'd probably go back to South Africa and say, okay, we stop at the traffic lights instead of saying, I stop at the road. <laughs> so it's, I think it's a good experience. I want to make the most of it because being here, it's like, taught me a lot of manners. When you say please and you say thank you, people know that you appreciate them in all those ways. So yes, it makes your job easier. So. And I find that it seems like Americans not South Africans. I don't know if it's just me, but they really do seem to be intrigued by us. Yeah, they think we have a British accent. <laughs> but I don't see the British accent. I always thought that. I always thought that. That's right. And hopefully we go back with an accent. Yeah, I, I wanted to do that. Yeah. Um, what I also, what I find here is that being an au pair, you find, you find yourself and you also learn to clean up after yourself. When I came here, I wasn't before I came here, I didn't clean up, up after myself, and I just think you, you do that, you, you grow into it by making your bed every morning and making up after dishes. yourself, washing your dishes after you're done. So yeah, I think we also, I don't know about you guys, but I think we always spoil our mommies and our daddies, like yeah, cooking our true. meals for <laughs> yeah. us and having a maid in South Africa to make our beds and stuff. So I think it's a, it's a huge growing experience that we all. Bye. Bye.